what's new in my wardrobe welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling today i wanted to bring you guys a few things that well a couple of things it was a few but i sent the other things back um that's new in my wardrobe you ladies who have been following me know that i have a bigger foot right i wear size typically an 11 in most shoes but most of the brands now, the shoes are just being made a lot smaller to me. Or maybe my feet are just spreading. I purchased a pair of boots that I've been wanting for a while. I just didn't want to pull the trigger. But when the price went down, I was like, okay. And then I purchased something from the Outnet. So the first piece is from Farfetch'd. Far -fetched. Um, and the other item is from the Outnet. If you guys don't know, the Outnet has a ton of stuff that is from different designers. The prices are very reasonable. Now, from what I've been told, the stuff are like last season, but in my opinion, last season or not, the stuff is still, is still the item, right? It's still great quality and pieces that you could actually wear year after year. Farfetch has pre-loved things and they have new items. The boots that I got from there are brand new. Reason why I was trying to figure out why all of a sudden they weren't on Jimmy Choo's website, it's almost like Farfetch has all of them now, <laughs> which is crazy because they're not even being shown on Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo did have all of them at one point and then now that their new boots are in, they don't even have them on the site. But let me show you the boots. I'm gonna pop in a video of me wearing them as well and give you guys some close up of the boot. But the boot is like so long. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna really, I'm gonna get a good video of them as far as like the color and stuff, because the color is not really coming up on camera for you, for you guys. But it's a nice wooden heel. It's made really, really well. It's a thigh high, guys. So I'm six feet tall. And the only brand that I know of that was really carrying boots that were great quality, that were tall enough for tall women, is Stuart Weitzman. They're iconic boots, I have a pair. Um, they're not shaped like this in the heel, but they still are a very nice boot. They're stretch leather. Now if you have like really thick thighs, it may not work. It may slouch down just a bit, but they're still really nice. These here? I can't even get the whole boot in the in the screen <laughs> but I'm gonna pop in a video so you guys can see them on me and see how high they are on me these are the Jimmy Choo I think they say Maceo Maceo boots and 85 over the knee boots and this is the camel color version they do have them in black as well the leather on here guys I mean like the leather is so freaking nice it's so nice. I'm gonna get a close up just so you guys can get a really good view of the color of the boot. It does have the stretch piece in the back uh, for the girlies who need an extra wiggle room. But the quality is like unmatched. They're really soft. They're just a really nice pair of boots. Move this over here so you guys can see it. They're just really, really nice. They're made really, really well. And it's very hard for me to say that because a lot of brands now are really like skimming on their stuff, especially some of the higher end brands. Their stuff is just not made well. Some of these other brands that's charging like $700 for boots and shoes and they're not made well, okay? I've seen girls say they purchased things from Steve Madden that were better quality than some of these designers. So that tells you. But the leather on here, baby. Okay, so that's one thing that I got in. I'm gonna pop in a video again of those and some specs about the boots. Again, they are a buttery smooth leather. Um, it does have a stretch elastic around the thigh area of the boot. Um, it's more of like a chunky style, like Western heel. It is a point on the boot and I did get a size A 43 <laughs> so I am a hundred percent sold that Jimmy Choo and me are just gonna have to do 43s I, I think it just has a lot to do with them just running small honestly like I you know I wear a size 11 so for me to have to go to a 43 is insane 
um but they're really high i'm sure you're gonna have to wear i tried them on the other day you're gonna have to wear some sort of like stocking or something because inside of the the boot is like the bottom part has like this material in it and it's not i don't know is that kind of like leather it's kind of like a leather but i don't think it is fully that part but the top of the boot inside may be leather let me show you guys because it is a different color i don't even know if you guys can see can you guys see that color down at the bottom and then this is a different color so this is what the boot is and then down there where that creamish color is it's different taking the boot off it wasn't a struggle but i knew i had to like get it off my leg <laughs> so i would recommend wearing some sort of knee high or something that's gonna like slide as opposed to the boot actually sitting on your actual skin but these are really cute they're really really nice yeah so this is just a quick quick review on the boot i absolutely love them and i should have purchased them in both colors but now i should have got them when they first went on sale on jimmy choo these are i think the original price was like let me see if i can find it on my phone for you it's saying 1950 but i feel like they were 2300 on jimmy choo now so farfetch has them for 1229 right but i don't think i paid that i think i had a coupon yeah i might have had a coupon um but i believe that they were more money on jimmy choo's website they have a, a new pair out that's kind of similar but they're lower i might actually get those two because they're lower and i can probably get more wears with like certain pants with them um these i'm most likely gonna have to wear these a ton with like skirts and dresses dresses with splits skirts with splits so, or you so you can get the full effect of the boot i'm not a legging girl so you probably won't catch me in leggings ever unless they are a leather some sort of leather a mix with leather <laughs> um like a riding pant uh but these are great the other item that i purchased was this shawl from the outnet now let's grab that I'm gonna pop in a video with this on as well. The Outnet is, again, another site that has a ton of things, a ton of designers, almost like Farfetch, Intermix, um, Vestier Collectives, uh, Revolve, like those. However, the Outnet has a ton of, I wanna say everything is pretty much designer over there, and the prices are like chopped. This poncho I got from the outnet one thing I like about them is that they everything comes in like a nice dust bag they're really nice like they don't really have to do that but to me that adds on to the quality and how they treat their business and I would always purchase from them solely because of that honestly because sometimes you don't have an extra dust bag to hang your stuff but since it comes with it, it's perfect. I'm gonna pop in a picture with it on as well. But this is a Zimmerman poncho. It's so nice. Like, it's a really nice, nice poncho. Let me just come a little closer. I'm gonna button this so you can see how the front is. Let me show you. It does have a little buckle there the front comes up like this really nice the buttons are the same color as the poncho um it's a really really nice nice poncho so you ladies if you are into ponchos and capes and things like that definitely go for something like this I'm gonna be wearing this with red. I, it's something about this greenish, brownish color that looks really good with red, like Army Fatigue does, right? So it's those neutral colors that we have in our wardrobes and we have a pop of color that really goes good with it. I also think that 
like a yellow would also go well with this. Um, red, yellow, of course cream and ivory, black of course. But the two main pops of colors would definitely be red for me, yellow for some, and most likely a neutral color. But those are the pieces that I got new in my closet. When I pop in a photo, I'm gonna try to keep it up as long as I can so you guys can get all the details. One thing about the jacket that kind of threw me off a little bit <laughs> was, was the poncho, was this. They're like, there's like this little tag on here. I'm not 100% keen on, I may take it off. Um, I don't know, I may, I may not. Um, I'm sure it could be worn in the rain as well. I got a medium large. And let me see what else is here. And it's called the Kaleidoscope Cape. And I, again, I got a medium large. It's all it's an olive color, yeah. Medium large would be a US 8 to 10. Those are the two items that I got in, the boots and the poncho. I hope you guys can see everything. Like I said, my picture is gonna pop in or a slight video with it on. But this is my new in. This is like a quick little haul. So new in, I'm gonna be wearing this stuff in the fall. Even the boots, guys, because I know shorts are still gonna be in. Um, like shirts or like jackets over it. Definitely cute for the fall. Again, I don't necessarily go towards every single trend because I can't because I am tall, okay? I have to buy things that I just solely like and love and make it work for me. So those are some of the struggles that we as tall women have. A lot of the designers don't cater to us, but we can find pieces and accessories that we could actually add to our wardrobes and still have fun with the other girlies, okay? So that is it for this quick new haul, new in haul for my wardrobe as a tall woman. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I like, again, I'm gonna pop in some photos for you guys to see and take a look at the item. The boots are still available and they still have a ton of colors. The new version of the boots are lower um, and they are, they're still a little pricey still. Uh, they have two versions. They have one, I'm gonna see if pop in, pop in a picture. One that does not have, one is plain, a plain black pair, like a, like a Western boot. And then the other one has like this gold situation on the top. Now those are cute. <laughs> But realistically, I don't know how often I would wear those with details like that on the top of the boot, if that makes sense. The plain black ones, I would throw them on with every any outfit. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and get those. And again, for the girls who got like a big foot like me, 10 and up, I'm gonna say 11 and up because I do still see a lot of shoes in a size 10. 11 and up, definitely check out Jimmy Choo. But Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style services, Coco Styles NY, oh, NY and my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.